Hey YouTubers, it is me Wes, and today I am going to be reviewing the Rio Knee XC by Oser. I got this knee about six months ago, and I've had plenty of time to use it and get a feel for how it operates and how it suits my daily needs. Last February, I had the opportunity to go to Iceland to test out the knee and also to test out the new features of this knee. While in Iceland, I got to test out the stair ascent mode, the bicycle mode, and they also got to run on it. These are three modes that they needed to refine their algorithms and get them ready for the public launch. So the stair ascent mode, I can go into that in more detail in another video, but basically when ascending the stairs, you need to pull back your leg and then kick it forward. And when you do that, the knee swings forward and the knee stops at about a 90 degree angle and allows you to plant your foot flat and firmly on the next step above. And then you can push with the thigh on the prosthetic side and lift yourself up and then step up with your good leg. And this mode actually works very well. They also have the bicycling mode, which is new to the Rio knee and allows you to cycle without any resistance from the knee. It basically acts as a free swinging hinge. To activate this mode, you need to be pedaling about two full rotations and after two rotations it will activate with a beep letting you know you're in cycling mode. If you stop for a brief period of time it will exit cycling mode and then the knee will go back to normal. You need to cycle again two more rotations to get it back into cycling mode. As far as running is concerned on this knee it actually works pretty well. My first video ever on YouTube was me running on the original Rio knee. that blue brick that was kind of ugly, but this knee is a beauty, let me just say. Anyways, so running on this knee is pretty good and it helps when you have a decent foot to go with it. I tested out a variety of feet and I'd say that it works pretty good on most of them. Now this mode isn't something that you want to be using all the time, it's not super easy to just keep on running on it, but if you need to catch a bus, or, or jog real quick to get somewhere, it works and it works well. There's nothing that you have to do to activate per se running mode. It's just that there's extra safety features built in there to prevent the knee from giving out on you while running. Now this knee also features a hard lock mechanism. It's activated by a button on the side, which I'll show you here in a minute. This mechanism allows you when standing to be able to lock the leg so you don't have to worry about it giving out on you and you can relieve some of the weight from your good side. Let me take this knee off and point out some of its features. All right, so here's the rear knee, XC, in its glory. The logo is written on each side and it features an all black design with some aluminum accents on the top, and overall it looks pretty sleek. It's the same general shape as the Rio Knee 2 and Rio Knee 3, but uh, just a little bit more refined in different areas, and specifically the software inside. So the locking mechanism is right here on the side of the knee, and it activates by pushing it in, and it just creates a hard lock in the knee. There's no adjustment on the angle, it pretty much is just your leg straight out. So it doesn't work for all applications, but it works well for what it was intended to do. It also features a power button, a LED indicator for the battery, as well as the charging port here, which you just pull off this little rubber cover and it exposes the charging port. In order for this knee to be weatherproof, this charger port needs to be closed all the way and that helps prevent water from getting inside of it. Overall, I think it's a great knee. It is definitely more fluid and smooth to walk on than the Rio Knee 2, which I had about four years of experience in college with. I also had about three and a half years of experience on a power knee. And the power knee, let me just say, while it really was beneficial for walking long distances because it did a lot of the walking for you, you didn't have to like kick your hip out or anything, 
The one downfall about the power knee that I found to be most annoying was when it tried to do stuff to control you. With this knee, I have full control over what I want it to do. Not that I can say bend or anything, but when I try to do something with my leg, it does what I'm intending to do. With the power knee, on the other hand, there are many circumstances in which the knee would extend because it does have a motor in it. It would actually force you up. Like if I were sitting here and I put pressure on it wrong, it would for force you up and the leg would kick out and extend sometimes causing significant damage to objects around, other times lunging me onto someone, or just, let's not go there. Anyways, the power knee had these issues with it that I just couldn't really get over, and I wanted a knee that didn't make noise, which this one is completely silent, and I wanted a knee that would last a very long time. This knee lasts me two and a half days on a single charge, but I typically charge it every night. As compared to the power knee, which typically lasts six to 12 hours on a single battery, and you get two, so you can have one battery charged, ready to go, and the other battery in use, and swap them after six hours, or 12 hours, or however long it takes to deplete the battery. Overall, I'm very pleased with this knee, and I would definitely give it a good rating. I give it four and a half stars out of five for just the reasons that I've already mentioned. It's a great knee, it looks good, it functions well, it does what I want it to do, and it's pretty light. It's not encumbering like the power knee is. Um, this is not to say that the power knee is a bad knee, because I've really enjoyed using it, but there's just a lot of differences between the knee. Power knee is cutting edge, it has a motor in it, and it can do things that this can't, but it also, the software and technology behind it isn't quite up there to be able to be a good competitor for the battery life and control that you have over this knee. That being said, I think I would prefer the Rio Knee XC as my daily walker for the reasons I just mentioned. So I'm gonna put this knee back on. So that about wraps it up for the review of the Rioni XC. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already for more content like this. And give me feedback on what you might want me to review next. I plan on doing a follow-up video on the foot that I have on this prosthetic as well, which is the ProFlex XC. This is Wes, the Amp for Life, signing off, and I'll see you in the next video. AMP for life, yeah!